to Dark Angels and Pretty Freaks episode 109. I am Neil C. I am Annalise. You know what I realized while we were doing our check? What? I didn't set my seat at didn't all. Didn't set your seat? No, because I was going back and forth. So, there we go. Going back and forth with your seat. I got something to say. Listen, Pittsburgh nerd, if <laughs> that's your real name. <laughs> I don't think it really is. Pittsburgh <laughs> nerd. You want to call us out on us stealing other people's segments? <laughs> well, fine. I will tell you this, sirs. Sirs? Well, sirs? There's, there's two of them. Oh, yeah. and, True. and Nancy's Night's Rock. So Nancy is not part of this because we love her. <laughs> you two gentlemen, however, want to call us out. I will tell you, there's absolutely nothing original about our podcast. <laughs> nor do we want it to be. <laughs> so, yes, we stole our favorite five segment. From History of Bad Ideas podcast. Right. And uh, well, the, the email segment, I don't know who we stole it from, but we were just getting emails and we thought we should read them. Right. And then we said, if people want to send them, listen, Pittsburgh nerd, <laughs> we're trying to be all inclusive here. We're like a Jamaican resort, if you will. Right. All you can eat over here. Yeah. Oh, I got some for you, Pittsburgh nerd. <laughs> you gobble down on this, sons of bitches. <laughs> Well, it's just the one son, so. <laughs> son of bitch. <laughs> wow. Well, that sounds really mean. I did not mean that as, <laughs> as meanly as it sounded. I you know, we love you. Sean. We're just kidding. Yeah, I, have, I have nothing it's against your mom. I, it's already gone too to, far. Yeah, I didn't mean it to make it sound that way at all. You can't even be mean. Whatsoever. You can't, you can't, yeah. just, like, you can't even hold it together. No. For, like, what, they go on for like a minute? I <laughs> apologize. <laughs> Before you broke down and like you had to be nice? Yeah, that was not, not at all how I meant that to sound. <laughs> it was funny in my head. Hilarious. So anyway, so yeah, I think so the, the fact the that Pittsburgh you couldn't Nerd podcast check keep out. being um, upset about it. <laughs> uh, I think Sean was having fun with us on Twitter for a minute. Yeah, uh, he actually just tweeted at us again. <laughs> so uh, and now Hobie's liking all of his tweets. Okay, <laughs> all right, that's it. <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna pay attention to you guys. We got got yeah, a podcast. We got a podcast. Christ sakes. Well, what was funny is I did say, hey, if anyone's got any questions before we podcast, and then we know. got a whole bunch. <laughs> well. Um, the thing is, then we had to come in here. So I only got a couple of the questions out, so I'll have to use the rest mm-hmm. next week. But um, I don't know what to get to uh, first. I don't know where to start. I think we just go down the line and then do the email stuff. Go down what line? Um, I have stuff to talk about. Oh, well, what, we don't we, want we to usually... start with the email? Don't, don't, don't shows so. typically start with emails? No. I don't oh, think, no? Well, no, I don't think so. All right. Well, then we'll get to the... Well, don't let me forget. How about the questions? Well, they're right there, so... How about the questions? No, let's do our like little update first, and then How about do the, the weather. No. Okay. <laughs> Stop trying to right. move everything around. I don't know what we're doing. <laughs> let's do our little updates, and then we'll do the weather, and then we'll I blame do it on Pittsburgh nerd throwing us the off. The emails and the questions. All right, sounds And before our favorite yeah, five. whatever. Before our top twenty-seven. Yes. <laughs> before our Hobie segment. Yeah. <laughs> That's exactly. what we should just start calling it. <laughs> That'd be quite the honor. They might, it's an well, homage, that, if you I don't will. know if I, they might not feel honored. They might be like, listen, you sons of bitches. That's enough. <laughs> All right. We don't do it the same, but yeah, totally. Okay. Do you put the um, mic in front of your face? I, it's totally in front of my face. All right. It's totally, I just kept moving so I could see my notepad. Okay. Sounds good. Um, so we want to mention that we were on the Geek Up and Go episode zero. You were on episode zero because you do the episode zero. The zeros. Geek Up and Go podcast. Geek Up and Go. At Geek Up and Go. Right. Spelled out. And uh, you were on episode zero, mm-hmm. and I came in for episode 0.5. <laughs> I used to be the king of episode zero. And then I uh, it was old news. Oh, You need to start, find some new podcasts that need people on episode zero. <laughs> uh, as people know, I'm a Patriots fan, and mm-hmm. I don't want to say who, but someone on Twitter said, uh, we are the Patriots uh, podcasting. At first, I thought that was really cool, and then I realized how many people hate the Patriots, and I'm like, I'm not sure what this person is trying to say. Who said that? I'm not going to say. I don't want to... I'm coming back at you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I... Either way, it was a compliment. We like the Patriots, so we're taking it as a compliment. It was a compliment? Kind of, question like, mark. You guys were really cool. You guys were the underdog. Now everyone hates you. Why don't you suck it, Tom Brady? Was it Graphic Novice that said that? No, but uh, they would. <laughs> Actually, no, they'd just say, you guys are lame. There's a lot of love hate for us. We used, to, we used to like you, and we don't anymore. Oh. Anyway. Uh, have, so we were on feelings. Geek Up and Go, which probably, you know, poor Geek Up and Go to have me on episode zero now. It's oh, tainted. no. It's, you want to taint it. I'll taint it. So, uh, fun podcast. Uh, with Roy, who's also does the Moving the Needle podcast. Yeah. 
and it's a lot of fun. And I haven't listened to the um, ones where they do the lip sync battle mm-hmm. talk, but um, I look forward to that as well. So, Do you have their shirt? Uh, do they have a shirt? I don't think they have a shirt. <laughs> well, I guess you don't like the podcast that Stop much. Stop it. Don't, don't um, even start that crap. We did steamroll episode. We sure 0. did. 0. It's what we do. It's what we do. If you get us on a podcast together. We warned you in advance and you asked us anyway. We will steamroll. So. We just, it was a happened. lot of fun. We do enjoy <laughs> very much podcasting with Roy. Yeah. I had a good time. He's a nice guy. I like him a lot. Yeah. So check that up. Geek up and go. Right. Um, we also have another podcast um, bit of news. Um, the uh, We mentioned last on last week's episode, um, podcast Stuff That Matters with two guys that don't, I think is what mm-hmm. their podcast is called. <laughs> mm-hmm. I want to make sure I get that right. You can find them on Twitter at STM underscore podcast. We talked about them last week. Right. But they They reached... didn't pay us to talk about them this week. <laughs> um, they reached their uh, number of followers. And so they did the Weezer. They just recorded the new episode with the Weezer story that I've been waiting to hear. So that's on this week's episode. So you guys should check that out. And I'm going to check it out because I need the Weezer story. That's how you roll. <laughs> And uh, Matt from Reasons Are Several called me out on keep on that fact I kept spelling Weezer wrong, on, kind of sort of on purpose. And he's like, hey, wait a minute. Are you doing that on purpose? <laughs> Matt and I were uh, tweeting at each other this week. I saw that. And Matt. Um, lay care. He tried to lay the smack down on me, but he did it in such a way that I, that I, I was like a taken back. Taken aback? <laughs> I was, no, a taken back. A taken back. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> And I, I, I don't want to get into it because I, 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 yeah, I feel mm. bad. Mm. But I was, I, I was like, did you just try to rip on me with, with, with that? And then I felt bad because I'm like, oh, <laughs> kids will do oh, it to I, you. Oh, I saw that. I saw that. Kids one. will do oh, it. Oh my to gosh. You. So are you calling uh, him soft? No. Oh no. <laughs> no, not at all. What about lake hair? Lake hair is probably soft. Yeah, but anyway, I. Um, uh, at then I just kind of folded. I think it was kind of like when when Ben was making fun of my head injuries, uh-huh. and then it was it was I'm like, oh, you know, it must be the concussions, and he's like, no, I'm out. I don't want to make fun of you. <laughs> That's how I felt. I'm like, oh, oh okay, uh, sorry, uh, I, I digress. Too far. Yeah, I'm sorry. Oh, sorry, Matt. <laughs> like, yeah, if that's that's your comeback, bro. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm just playing. That's too funny. He still hasn't watched New Jack City, so screw him. Um, <sighs> I want to thank everybody for listening, as we do, because we very much appreciate it. It was kind of cool. We did our Throwback Thursday episode this week. We mm-hmm. don't do one every week, but every every now and then on Thursday. And we did the uh, Snake, Oil Comics. Snake Oil Comics, and a couple hundred people listened to it. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> on a, there on you a go. Throwback Thursday, I was like, wow. <laughs> Apparently, Snake Oil Comics has got some pull in this world, this podcast community Well done, thing. sir. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of cool. I was like... What the, what? Oh, nice. So nice. pretty cool. So thank you for listening to that. We had a blast with those guys. Right. And the episode As you is can hear. pretty amazing. <laughs> it's, whew, it's pretty uh, epic. It's, yeah. Uh, I lost it on that one. There's you a lost lot me. Of, lost yeah. me. <laughs> well, it was, I think it was one of the few times that during the episode, what are you looking at? Oh, I wasn't sure why this was here, but sorry. It's there. So she doesn't grab it. Right. It's a cord that's running around, along an ice bucket. Ice right. bucket? Ice yeah, bucket. Yeah, ice bucket that has our beverages in it. That's going to our GoPro to video Hi. this thing. Check out the video. And we, I try to raise it up a little bit so the Doberman's tail doesn't grab it and rip it all down. Right. But I was confused by it, so I apologize. Um, so you were saying? That it was, there were sections of that where we got steamrolled. We were totally yeah, quiet. They, we're like, yeah, I we, don't yeah. even know what to I, say. There's like a good five minute chunk where I don't say a thing. And Which then is, I think he actually asks me if I, <laughs> are you, is she there? And I'm like, no. <laughs> um, so that's an yeah. excellent episode. So episode 65. It, yeah. I want to thank everybody for listening. Very cool. Uh, I want to thank everybody for all the reviews and everything that people give us on the different places. Appreciate it. Uh, Yeah. We appreciate it. We really do. It really means a lot. But by all means, don't feel like you have to. (laughs) I mean, we're just. I don't always look at the reviews because I'm very sensitive. And I feel like if we got a bad review, that my feelings would be hurt. (laughs) And I don't know if I could take it. (laughs) We're just doing this for fun. And we just are happy that you listen. So we don't want you to have any homework or feel like whatever. So it very cool for the people that did. We very much appreciate it, but by, you know, just hang out. And if you miss <laughs> a bunch of episodes, come back. Don't worry about it. We'll, <laughs> we'll be, be here. here. Yeah. <laughs> and it'll sound the same. I promise you. <laughs> Although we got to get back to our target shopping lists. Yes. Well, we haven't uh, been having anything interesting lately. Yeah. we we'll have to mix it up, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> That's too funny. Um, so I don't know where you want to go. Um, I, 
Or I think you maybe should tell everybody about the Property Brothers and that we are now done. Funny, because I have, I have a Property Brothers story. Please do. But so, start with the fact that we just marathoned. In 14 days, we marathoned all five seasons of Property Brothers yes. that was on Netflix. It was kind of funny because we started, and we started season one and two, and we were on the last episode of season two, and all of a sudden, they disappeared from Netflix, and it just had three, four, and five. So good thing we got under the <laughs> whatever was going on. It was like one episode we didn't see the end of because they had taken it off like that night. So we did five seasons of Property Brothers. And here's the thing I wanted to tell you. I had a dream and the property brothers were in it. Of course. <laughs> and it was in freaking sane. It wasn't a bad dream. It was a good dream. Of course, because they were in it. <laughs> but it was weird. But first, let me preface this by saying because we watched so much property brothers in such a short time that I started thinking like I knew these guys. Like we're and friends? They were, yeah, they were. I, I tweeted out about them. I'm like, they're, oh, yeah, they're our buddies now. Yeah. Like I totally thought I'm going to. I'm going to call them up and be like, hey, what are, you, what are you guys doing? You guys want to come over for dinner? We're in Napa. You know, fly down. Fly <laughs> up. Fly up. Wherever they are. Down. Right. Well, it depends whether they're in Vegas or Canada at the time. Because right. <laughs> so hard to keep track of. I know. Those guys. Um, but it was bad because we were talking and I'm like, oh, have, do you know who their other brother is? And you were like, like what? I have no idea. And I'm like, yeah. Well, because I brought up the... I thought I was being super cool and I found this thing and I was like, Hey, have you seen this property brothers? They have, they have, they're musicians and they have a music video and you're like, yeah, I know that. And mm -hmm. I'm like, Oh, <laughs> and then you said, said, do you know, do you know, know their brother, their older brother? Right. And I said, no, cause I don't. And I'm like, here he is. Right. Uh, so, so would you like to know the dream? Yes, please. So in the dream, uh, the property brothers had a podcast of which they actually did for right, a while. A year. <laughs> uh, the three brothers had a podcast, but anyway. And so we were hanging out with them and one of the property brothers, Jonathan, mm -hmm. Jonathan had blonde Silver, Fo <laughs> Silver Fox. Silver Fox. Was... Yeah. Uh, Silver Scott. Silver Scott. <laughs> <laughs> uh, had blonde streaks in his hair mm -hmm. and be he, we were sitting around talking and he's like, you have your cosmetology license? Dude, that's awesome. I want my hair bleached. And I'm like, I'll totally do that. And I'm like, yeah. I said, but as payment, you have to have us on your podcast. And he's like, yeah, totally. So I was getting all this stuff ready. And, and we were in this, like, what I would imagine a Las Vegas, like, mansion to look like. But mm -hmm. not huge, like, 24,000 square feet mansion. But maybe, like, 6,000 square feet. Yeah, yeah but big, mm -hmm. you know. And then he had what I imagine would, like, a, a recording studio in his house. But mm -hmm. it was set up for podcasting. And so I was getting all the bleach and stuff together and... His other brother, uh, his other brother. Um, Wait, well, there's two other brothers. Drew. Which one? Drew was just, and J JD wasn't in it. It okay. was just Drew. Right. I was walking around and hanging <laughs> out, whatever. So I go down to the podcast. Like, I'm like, where the fuck is this guy? I'm supposed to bleach his hair. And I go down and he's recording a podcast with you. And I'm like, what the fuck? And in the <laughs> podcast studio, there's these other two chicks that are making out. So you're recording a podcast with him while there's two girls in the background making out. Wow. Okay. Totally random. And it, but it wasn't weird. It wasn't like he was recording the podcast with you. Like he didn't want me there. It was just like, he was like, oh, let's go. Might like, as well get started. Yeah. And I was like, what? <laughs> so I'm standing outside of like the recording booth when it, it, right. it was set the up like a studio window. Yeah. It was set up like a music studio where mm -hmm. you have the window between where the right. soundboard is and where the musicians play. And I was standing outside the window and I'm like, what the fuck? I got the bleach. And he's like, dude, come on in here and do my hair and we'll podcast at the same time. Then I woke up. <laughs> Sorry. It was a good time. It was getting good. Yeah. <laughs> so, so too much property brothers in too short of time. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking. In your dreams? Well, it's funny that it was all combined with the uh, podcasting. So it's like property brothers and podcasting. Those mm -hmm. things go together. Mm -hmm. So there you go. So That's were... hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm super sad that I couldn't introduce you to their music, though, because you already found out about it. Yeah. Well, you know, just drumming away and doing what they do. Yeah. I'm taking notes, so you got to talk. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, that, why are you taking notes? Why don't you just do the podcast? <laughs> I'm taking notes for the podcast. <laughs> I'm taking notes podcasts. <laughs> podcast notes, maybe all right. well. I want to get... I, I don't know what to do. I'm so confused. I have all these little pieces of paper all around. <laughs> well, do you want to... Would you want to get started? Would that make you feel better? With if, what? With how we, we got started. Oh, this? Mm -hmm. Sure. We'll do the email. Okay. We'll just do the email. We got an email from Cheeto Bandito. Yay. Hi. Which uh, people that listen to Salty Language and Graphic Novice probably have heard of Cheeto Bandito. Um, I, so, and I was actually, I kind of felt like, 
you know, when someone really cool follows you on Twitter and you're like, oh, that's awesome. When we got the email, I'm like, that is really cool. I can heard of Cheeto Bandito. We've, already, we've heard of Cheeto time. Bandito. Yeah. So it's pretty cool. So um, I will get to the um, meat. If you will. <laughs> of said email. Meat of the email. So last uh, podcast, we were talking about my dad and country potatoes and how he was asking, what is a country potato? Although he knew what a country potato was. Right. So Cheeto Bandito says, listening to the newest episode and hearing about the country potatoes, I was initially confused. I had no idea what they were until moments later when I heard the explanation. See, in my neck of the woods, we call them home fries. Anyway, thanks for the regional food lesson, and I look forward to future episodes. Cheeto. So I thought that was interesting that he was like, I had no freaking clue. (laughs) We just assumed that we probably shouldn't assume that stuff. So I'm thinking, maybe he's my dad. (laughs) (laughs) Is Cheetah Bandita really your dad? (laughs) Could be. They're never in the same place at the same time. (laughs) Never seen them together. (laughs) Pretty sure. (laughs) That's too funny. Yeah. So anyway, I'm I'm happy to get that out of the way. Now I feel a little better. I feel like we're a little caught up were you behind a little a little bit a little bit so oh speaking of emails today when remember we were getting ready and i said i got an email from susan uh shebang you (laughs) yes i was looking in my spam folder Uh um to make sure that people that sent this email that didn't go to the spam folder and i saw that susan shebang you (laughs) sent me an email (laughs) and she is her she is it's a in the title line it said minister of women so Susan Shebang you is the minister of women. I didn't open the email. Right. Not that I think it would hurt my Chromebook because, you know, whatever. Right. But still, I figured that was good enough. So Susan, if you're listening, <laughs> I'd like to know how this minister of women thing hangs out. Right. <laughs> how does that work? I would have liked also if it was ministry of women. <laughs> <laughs> so good for you, Shebang you. Ms. Shebang you. Shebang you. Shebang you. Wow. That's hilarious. Yeah. So there's my email segment. <gasps> Pittsburgh nerd. I need some more beverage in my beverage, if you don't mind. Mm-hmm. If you could possibly help mm-hmm. me out. That'd be super well, awesome. Well, do you got anything while I'm beveraging you up? I do. Um, I had a, a coworker stop by my work area today. And um, and I guess they, at some point, we must have talked about like podcasting Kevin Smith. And then they, they and everybody seems to know that I'm like into comic books and I'm a total nerd. And so he's like, um, helping me out with uh, my computer, and then he stops and he looks at me. He's like, "Hey, I forget. Have you seen Batman v Superman?" And I was like, "No, I haven't." And I was like, "You forgot, like, because we talk about that stuff all the time." I don't know. <laughs> like, have we talked about this? And um, I was like, "No, actually, I haven't." And he's like, "Oh, but but you like Kevin Smith?" I'm like, "Yeah." He's like, "You know, because I listen to a lot of Kevin Smith's podcasts." And I was like, "Oh yeah, that's cool." And he's like, "Have you seen the YouTube video of him reviewing Batman v Superman?" And I was like. No, I haven't actually. He's like, it's hilarious. And he just turns over to my computer and pulls it up on YouTube and just starts it playing while he's working on my other computer. And I'm like, so are we watching this right now? (laughs) Is this happening? (laughs) So I guess we're watching that. (laughs) Was it good? Um, I only got to see half of it, but it's really good. Yeah. And, um, but you know, I haven't seen it. So obviously a lot of spoilers, you know? And so I'm like, uh, and he's like, oh yeah, this is really good. This is funny. And then he like kind of stops when he's doing it. Like, so he starts to kind of watch it with him. Like maybe you should keep working on the other thing. (laughs) But, um, point being that I don't know if you want to watch it before, but it's definitely worth a watch because I know that, um, we both listened to his audiobook. Whose audiobook? Uh, Kevin Smith's. I never listened to an audiobook. I thought you listened to his audiobook. Did you read the book? book? I, I read a book. Oh, you read the book. Yeah. Right, right, right. Oh, yeah. Right, right. Sorry. And, um, well, in Jamaica. Well, in Jamaica. And um, it's, I, like I said, I'm not done watching the whole thing, but it's really good. And he really, like, kind of breaks it down and makes some good points and in, you know, Kevin Smith style. So it's kind of dirty, but right. <laughs> but it's perfect. So I, I'm recommending that you or slash me watch it. So. That Sounds was just good. a surprise today. And I was like, oh, I guess we're going to watch the movie some... or the, the review. Both. I would like to see both. <laughs> well, but I would imagine eventually we'll see the movie. I think so, too. But um, I just thought it was funny because I was like, oh, we're doing this. OK, cool. Just, I'm gonna hit, just Feel free to hit play. I haven't, I haven't seen the movie. No. OK, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, because like, you know, when someone's like doing you a favor, like helping you out with like your computer needs or work needs or something and they do something like that, you're just like, no. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Cool. Yeah. I can't whatever. imagine yeah. that you wouldn't have wanted 
No, I did want to see it, yeah. but I was just like, oh, but I haven't seen it. Okay, yeah, that, yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. We're watching it. Mm -hmm. So, anyway, I thought it was pretty cool. And so, <laughs> there you go. Very good. <laughs> Kevin Smith YouTube video on his review on Batman versus Superman. So, everybody should check it out. Very nice. There you go. What do you got up there? I was um, going to drink. <sighs> also that. Mm -hmm. I was going to say, oh, it's been kind of nice lately. I've been able to listen to a few more podcasts because my work is kind of so anyway. Kind of slow. Trying to catch <laughs> up on that. I don't know why I mentioned <clears throat> that, but I did. But I had a couple interesting bike stories for you. Uh -oh. As in riding my bike. <laughs> so the one thing I decided that I thought it would be kind of fun if I could listen to podcasts and... while I ride my bike. Mm -hmm. Now, the law is you can't have two earbuds in while you ride a bike. You can only have one in. Because you have to be able to hear. Which is totally fine because right. I want to be able to hear because there's a lot of people and dogs around. I got chased by a dog riding the bike the other day. <laughs> Rhodesian Ridgeback, actually. They like and to the, run. The They're family fast. was like freaking out. And I'm like, my dog can chase me as long as he wants probably going to go you know if we fall probably both of us are going to get hurt so yeah uh wait did he try to like get you or was he just, no, pointing just next run along to you? i mean he yeah. was he was getting close like he 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 was play snapping at my leg i mean if mm -hmm. he wanted to get me he could have got me but he was kind of like oh look at me i'm playing with you yeah and it, it was playful i mean i never you know you weren't but scared. the people were freaked out that i was going to freak out so the next time i came around they like tackled the dog to not chase me and i'm like no i'm fine they chased me again for a little bit and i was like eh, doesn't matter. <laughs> i waited to the people i'm like dog chasing me again That's funny. um so so i wanted to listen uh to podcasts while mm -hmm. i ride because i figure it's it's nice i try to ride at least an hour sometimes I can't ride that long, um, but I wear a full face helmet, so it's hard to, to keep the earbud in. Mm -hmm. So I went NASCAR route. I electrical tape the earbud to my ear. <laughs> I didn't know that they did that. Yeah. Well, they might have a special tape, but electrical tape works really well. Hmm. So I put the little earbud I didn't in, know that. tape it on, put my helmet on, I'm good to go. <laughs> I, did, I had no idea. Yeah. That's hilarious. Yeah. And it worked? Oh, yeah. It worked. I've done it for a while now. Oh. Works well. The other thing is a little embarrassing and a little weird. As opposed to all your other yeah. bike stories? <laughs> okay. So when I ride for a while, and then I'll get done riding, and a lot of times after I get done riding, I have to pee, mm -hmm. as I have to pee after I do everything. Like, oh, look, I'm breathing. I got to pee. <laughs> um, and bladder. so I've realized, like, I'll go, go to go pee, and... I'll pull down my pants mm -hmm. and my dingus, I guess from the pressure in the taint brother area, m my little dingus shrinks so much that it looks like it's uncircumcised. Like it just kind of crawls back in? Yeah. Like a lot. <laughs> like it's a tiny little dingus. Not that it's huge. Does it hurt? Normally. Uh, no, but it takes a while for the little guy to come back. I'm like, what the hell are you doing? Do you doing? do like some jumping up and down, try to get some blood oh, going no. or oh, something? No. You I, just try I to wait? grab it and, and try to make his little tiny little dingus head come back out of his little turtleneck. <laughs> but it's the weirdest thing because it's like, it's a tiny little dingus. <laughs> like, where is he going? And then I'm afraid, like, is it going to go so far back in there that it's going to disappear? That's so interesting because I, I would think that if you put pressure on that area that would almost like push it out but it doesn't it sucks it back in well maybe on normal people it would but not me <laughs> but not you okay so it's always weird like after i ride i'm like ah oh, and then i have to look at it and it's all gross looking <laughs> if i can even see the freaking thing so oh god it's just weird it's just really really weird so does it take a couple minutes to like get it to, to like oh no not a couple minutes if I start playing with it, it pops back up into normal. But then I'm wondering, like, how'd you get so small? And then I'm like, how'd you get back to size so quickly? It's it's meant to do that, right? Just kind of. I guess it's bigger, weird. smaller, bigger, smaller. Yeah. It grows. Whatever. Yeah. So I'm click, 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 and then looking grow, at my grow, dingus. Grow, grow, grow. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> the first time did freak me out. I'm like, what is happening? Because it d doesn't happen when I ride my mountain bike. Because it's all different. The you know the so. pressure is different. The pressure yeah. somewhere else. Yeah. So maybe I'm writing wrong. I don't know. Shouldn't have these. <laughs> well, don't problems. they have that whole thing where a lot of um, cyclists, road cyclists, are um, have problems with their testicles? I don't have any idea. Oh. Okay. I don't. 
I don't hang out with road cyclists. Click, 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 click. <laughs> no, I really don't know because I, I don't, I don't, this is the first time. I'm, oh, I don't know. Yeah. I thought that was a thing. So I, I, well, we should I probably know. look that up because maybe, know. maybe you need some more padding or something. <laughs> I, maybe I need something. <laughs> okay. I need some stretcher of some kind. Swedish oh and, and larger pump or something. Mm. So, so you can pee after I thought that was cycling? I thought that was interesting. That's hilarious. Or, or weird. Weird and Just hilarious. I to share that with you. <laughs> and everybody else. Yeah, whoever. Whatever. <laughs> Just goes in the bike stories catalog. Mm hmm Oh, wow. So all my heads are having bike issues. <laughs> <laughs> That's too funny. All right. Where are we at? Should we do questions? We'll do some questions, yeah. Oh, do you want to do weather first or questions first? Well, we'll do weather. Okay. Ready? All right. Okay. And here is the weather report for Napa Valley, California on this lovely Friday evening. It is 78 degrees outside with 24% humidity, 74 degrees inside with 26% humidity. Uh, we <clears throat> had a peak wind gustage today of 14 miles an hour, average of six. And at recording time, it was four miles an hour out of the northwest. And the barometer was at 29.95. I had to move the weather station because of our roof. Oh, that's right. I'm still there about that. Patio. Well, it's not. We can get to that later. We got. You should we, write we that down for later, though. Nah, that's right. Moving the weather station. My, that's important. I don't even have a pen. I have a pen. I have this you Hello Kitty pen. I'm busy. Busy holding this piece of paper. I'm doing what? <laughs> I'm holding it. Okay, so um, we got some questions here. We got some questions from Agent Palmer at Agent Palmer, agentpalmer.com. And so we're going to, I don't know if we'll be able to answer all of these or if we'll be able to answer them in their entirety. And some we've kind of touched on before. So we will, we'll go through this. Number one from Agent Palmer. I'll read the whole thing. In keeping with the theme of your show, I've devised five questions asking for five answers. Oh, geez. So let's do this. <laughs> okay. He actually wrote that. <laughs> we have an extra hour. <laughs> yeah. So uh, name five po podcasts you've never been on that oh. you'd want to be on and take over together. Five podcasts we'd want to be on together and take over. That means we'd have to agree. That would take more discussion than I think. Well, we'll just, we'll just, why don't, we'll just name a couple real quick. How's that? Okay. All right. What's a podcast you'd like to be on that we take a couple things? We'd take over that. <laughs> if they'd let us. Oh, this reminds me. You know what I thought would be a really cool idea? Hmm. No, I'm steamrolling over his question. Well, there you go. You know, I thought it would be a really cool idea <laughs> is if every now and then we do a podcast in the way of other podcasts, like a podcast homage, like we'll do a couples thing podcast where we'll take, you know, we'll do their little, the intro and everything and be like, uh, you know, we're going to, everybody brings the topic today, but bar room style. We just get whatever. You know? <laughs> and uh, the first time I heard it, I thought it said ball, they said ballroom. And I'm like, that is so cool. Ballroom style. What does that mean? I don't know, but I thought of dancing. Dance I'm like, this is cool. I'll do the tango. It's a dance off. Argentinian. <laughs> I'll bring the tango. So I thought we'd do something like that. We could do something like graphic novice, like all the <clears throat> podcasts that we listen to. I thought it would be cool. That'd be something different. We'd do like a Gotham Lights podcast. <clears throat> a lot of the other podcasts do a lot more work than we do. Yeah, but that's why we'd only do it every now and then. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And we'd have fun with it. So we wouldn't really have to, you know, but I thought it could be fun. That's funny. Don't you think so? Yeah. Yeah. That's a no. <laughs> It'll never come to light. I thought it would be cool. Well, we can give it a go. Give it a go. Uh, all right. Uh, five podcasts you've never been on that you want to be on and take over together. Uh, well, we mentioned podcasts that we'd, we'd like to be on uh, that we've never been on. Um, it's, it's hard to mention. I feel bad taking over like indie podcasts because... I mean, we do it kind of by accident. I mean, it's not our goal. Um, so I guess some of the bigger, like, I think it would be fun to be, like I said before, on how did this get made? Mm -hmm. Right? Right. Um, and take that over. Right. Although I don't That's think we possibly could take that over. <laughs> um, we could give it a try. <laughs> yeah. Um, we almost did a takeover of How Is This Movie? I think it'd be fun to do Reasons or Several and take that all over. I'd have to brush up on some sports. No, you don't, because it's just us. That's the whole thing. It would be us. Just <laughs> Our be, version of that. Like, oh, we're going to talk about water polo now. Um, I can talk about tennis. <laughs> you can talk about uh, uh, cheerleading. And NASCAR. Wow, yeah. really? Yeah. <laughs> cheerleading? That, didn't you do cheer? 
Oh, yeah, but when I was super younger. Oh, that's a good point. Well, when the hell? No, I thought you were doing it last week. No, well, I, you oh, never sorry, know. I got confused. I thought you were a professional cheerleader. I'm like, oh, I guess it was somebody else. Well, my back hurts. Must, so. <laughs> must have been one of the two chicks in the property brothers. Were they wearing cheerleading outfits? No, they, I, they, they, it, was, it was weird. It's one of those scenes in a dream where like that was just happening. It wasn't like the, the focal it. point was yeah. his hair. <laughs> Let's be real about this. It's perfect. It's perfect. What, Sorry uh, about the dog barking. Yeah. Zero. Zero. <laughs> okay, um, so um, let's see. What else? Um, you know what's funny is I don't listen to any big podcasts anymore. I pretty much only listen to um, indie podcasts. We take over History of Bad Ideas. <laughs> that's true. That's, I think that's why we're not invited on. <laughs> um, um, I'd like to go back on uh, PBR. Yeah. Take that over a little Again, more. Again, yeah. Yeah, now that... They they do they have Michaels. they have such a good. Uh, um, There's no way you could take the show over from Mike. Like um, yes, yeah, true. Yeah. Um, but what Odo's gonna say like they have their. Um, Although agenda. we've been on PBR, uh, not so agenda that doesn't count. Is not the right word, but they, they have ha- they have their you know they're a pro podcast. Yeah, they're so they they're, they're pro, host. so I don't know they'd let us yeah. take it over. No, so. we, we couldn't even if we. But wanted. yeah, but we've already been on that podcast. So. Um, well, gosh, I don't know. It's it's tough without a list of the podcasts in, in front of me. <laughs> so I, I think I think we'll give we'll come back to that one. Maybe we'll think about it during the week and okay. come back to it because that that is tough. Um, there are podcasts I think it would be fun to be on together. Like if we could be on big podcasts, I think you know, like right. so there's some big ones that I'd like to be on. Um, but it's just fun to be on anybody's podcast. It's kind of fun to just get to know people and mm-hmm. talk and. And again, we don't take over. On, we'll never be on a podcast together again after this little segment. We don't take over on purpose. We just thanks, Palmer. We just talk and, and go, talk yeah, and go, talk and go, talk and go. Name five guests that you want to have on your show that you haven't been on before. Uh, number one, uh, I'd have to say Agent Palmer. There you go. Um, uh, I actually have a list going on my yeah. phone. <laughs> Should I just run it down? Yeah, it, well, there's a lot. There's a lot of people. There's a who lot of people. On the show. Uh, Does it have to be ones we nights? haven't done? Yeah. Somebody who hasn't been on our show. Right. Um, we want to do, well, he's, he's been on, so I can't say that. And he's been on, so I can't say that. All right. Midnight um, Movie Nights. So one, on. Midnight Movie Nights with Cat Miranda. And we want to do Chris and Chris from Gravy Age. You're right. Um, St. Anthony, which we. St. Anthony? S. Anthony, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I just made him a saint. You're welcome. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Not sure how he's going to feel about that. All right. We want to have sorry. Tristan on. Yes. And um, I would like to have Dana from How's This Movie and yep. Margot from Burke versus Movie. Yeah. Burke versus not. And then we have... Um, Adam Barker. Adam Barker. Yep. Right? Yeah. And so uh, I think we've already gone over our five on that. And I was about to say the other two from Couple's Things doesn't make it sound like, well, there's... <laughs> we have Ray and Vaughn from yeah. Couple Things. <laughs> like, I almost did that. Oh, the other two. Yeah, <laughs> the other ones. You I know. have them on. That's true. Uh, so there's a lot. We have a, the, a we, we have an ongoing list. I We have a little board behind me, and then we also have... I have a list on my phone. So. Yeah. And there's more than that, but they've been on, so there's other people that we have planned to come on again. And so. as, as new podcasts come up and... and um, uh, new podcasters we've met. We, yeah, like we, that, yeah. It's. I almost wish we could have a guest on almost every week, but right. then we just go on so long with guests, it just doesn't. Right. I don't think. Yeah. People <laughs> want. Although it's I mean, hard to do a three-hour podcast every week. It's surprising <laughs> how many people listen to the to the long. Yeah. Well, it's Appreciate surprising it. how many Thank people you. listen anyway. <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> All right. Name five places you want to go on vacation that you've never been uh, before. Uh, Japan. Japan is number one for me. Uh, we talked about Costa Rica. Uh, Costa Rica. Um, there, there are places I want to go. I don't know if I want to go, but I, w- I would like to go to Italy mm-hmm. on vacation. Um, I'd like to go to France. Me too. I would like that. Um, so let's see. I'd like to go back to Argentina. Mm-hmm. So, is that your throat? No. Stop pointing it out. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> so there's uh, three or four. But you've already been to Argentina, so it has to be. No, it doesn't say that. You, it say, oh, well, that you you've been never to, been. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Otherwise, we'd just be Jamaica on all five. Yeah. <laughs> um, where else? I'd like to go to Canada. I'd like um, to visit Nickel and Dave. Me too. I'd also like to see the Grand Canyon, which I haven't done. Yeah, it's a big hole in the ground. It's dirty. Yeah. Hmm. All right. Well. Um, all right. Name five animals you'd want for a pet that aren't uh, in the cat or dog family. I'd like a ferret. Oh, God. You don't know? I do know. Did you I have don't a ferret? I want a ferret. No. Oh. I'd like a parakeet hmm. or a parrot. Some kind of exotic bird. I'd like a box turtle. 
think that would be fun. If I if they, if you could domesticate a possum, yeah. I would like a possum. Hmm. I think they're cool. I think that raccoons Chickens. are kind of cool. Chickens. Like uh, oh, chicken? we could have an otter. Yeah. Can you? I don't you know. have a pet otter? Can you? I think that'd be real pets. I think he meant real pets, not oh. like what animal. But so, uh, yeah, box turtle, some really cool bird. Yeah. I, I, Ninja I've has had a snakes. falcon. <laughs> uh, not anymore. Not anymore. True. I used to have snakes um, and I had a rabbit. The rabbit was cool. What about iguana? Mean. I had an iguana. Mm. It was fun. Uh, but bird, I'm, I'm into the bird thing. I also really like fish, so... Yeah. Hmm. So let's see. Um, but you don't like fish. <laughs> kind of fish. <laughs> no promises on this one, but name five posts you'd like to see me write. I'd like to see you write a post on how we take over shows. <laughs> I think that would be fun. I think your take. I on think that you would might have fun. already done that. <laughs> uh, let's see. What else would I like? I'd like to see a post on. See, that's weird because I think of posts, but I, I, I want the Palmer touch to these posts. So what would be posts? Oh, oh, no, he's done that. I was going to say the our Twitter friends, friends mm -hmm. or acquaintances. Uh, let's see. Well, I like the live listening and tweeting a lot. So um, oh yeah, I'd be very interested in like... A post on his view of the interaction that he has with podcasts because he's, he's very much... Uh, very involved with many podcasts. Mm -hmm. I'd like to a post would, on how I that is. I would like him to also recommend other podcasts that he doesn't normally tweet about that much. Like maybe yeah. um, reaching out to the side a little bit as opposed to our little group. We need more posts about podcasts. Like you don't write enough about podcasts. Right. Well, you know what I mean. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, we'll, we'll get more in depth in the first one. I know we kind of blew through these real quick. Not that we didn't want to, but I thought it would be fun to just kind of. Yeah. I don't want to actually make a homework assignment. We don't do work here. <laughs> and I like that it's five questions on favorite fives of about five things. <laughs> I like that five, it's not, five, not five. in the cat or dog family. Well, yeah, I, I don't know how to think about that. I was like, oh, um, hmm, hmm. I'd like a big ass bird. Big ass cool. bird. Yeah. All right. A B A B, a Bab. <laughs> um, I was... Oh, we have more questions. Go on. <laughs> I was going to say I like rabbits, but technically I've had a rabbit, so I don't know that it, and I've also had rats, so I can't, you know, like I keep thinking of animals I'd like to have again, but that's well, not the question. it doesn't say that you've never had. It oh, just said that aren't cat or dog. Oh, okay. So, yeah. I like rabbits. Yeah. I actually funny. would like to have chickens, but the thing is, is since we already have the dogs, it's really hard to have other pets that the dogs and, might want to. We have the cat too. Yeah. Hi, kitty. Yeah. I don't, know where the not, kitty is. I don't know what you're looking I don't know. at. The kitty's not here. I always look over there to see if the kitty's there and he's never there. No. So. Uh, we have a couple more questions. Okay, cool. We have uh, some questions from Miranda Janelle. Awesome. Co-host uh, of Midnight Movie Nights. Uh, the K is silent. <laughs> uh, I, I think the name Miranda Janelle is awesome. I think so too. Uh, just throwing that out there. But check out Mo Midnight Movie Nights. It, really check out the Super Troopers episode. <laughs> In particular? I feel like that one's the best. Just saying. <laughs> so I've heard. <laughs> um, first question, what is your name? Go, answer it. Connelly Citrangolo. <laughs> My name is Neil Roman Citrangolo. Mm -hmm. Actually, it's pronounced Roman. If you will. White we need people, Mama to come in here. White people don't get it, so it's Roman. <laughs> I can't roll the tongue, so sorry. What is your favorite color? Black. Purple. There you go. <laughs> what is the airspeed velocity of an unladen swallow? Now, I'm assuming this 26. is... 26.27? I have no idea. I'm just kidding. Well, I'm assuming that this is a sexual question. <laughs> and so I'm confused a little bit because unladen and swallow is kind of fighting with each other. Right. Because if you're swallowing, there's and, no unladenness. And you don't really want that speedy, do you? Well, it's the airspeed velocity, so I'm guessing mm. you're arcing. You're kind of like... Mm. Shooting it out, yeah, if you will. Mm. Uh, not out of my freaking post Post ride. bike yeah. dingus? Yeah. <laughs> post ride dingus, yeah. So I'm going to... Let's see. What would my airspeed velocity be for an unla unladen swallow? If you're going to swallow... Un but see, unladen is throwing me off. It's laden. It's fully laden. Well, no, because it's kind of laden. I'm going with my first guess. 26.27. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to say the speed is the speed of love. God. 
Oh, yeah. That's my Thanks answer. for that, Miranda. <laughs> That's my answer. I'm sticking to it. Oh, my God. My okay. unladen... You, when unladen just, love? Hey, if there's an unladen swallow going on, I'm just happy to be there. <laughs> speed doesn't matter? <laughs> uh, not to me. Like I said, it's the speed of love. It's okay. <laughs> that's all I got. That's um, funny. I think that's all. You know, I, I do have a quick note here, and I don't know if you want to talk about it or not. The kitty litter that we bought. You should, yeah. No, you should. You should. Why should I? <laughs> okay. <laughs> the hell? So um, we, I guess we don't really talk about our kitty very much, but his name is Mr. Chubbs. He's a tuxedo, short hair kitty, and he is he's approximately small. Small 14 kitty. years old. He's very lean. He's a very lean kitty. He's about 11 pounds, if you need to know his weight. Um, but uh, he has a big mole on his face, and it needs to come off, according to the vet's. And I do say vets because he's seen a couple of vets. Um, Guacamole. <laughs> I can't stop thinking of that Uncle Buck scene where he just keeps Molinari in. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Which is so funny because you were talking earlier about the guy who's like, let me pull up this YouTube. But when you thought about it, the first thing you did was pulled up a YouTube and shove it in my face. I know. but Same that, thing with the property brother. But I've YouTube. also told you that a couple of times, and I just finally pulled it up and showed it to you. Yeah. So. so. Um, but it cracks me up every time I think about it. But, um, so we're going to have surgery on his face and we're going to get that taken off because of its placement. It has to come off. And so they do these little tests on the kitty to make sure he's healthy enough to go through surgery. And it's a little blood test and they take some pee pee. They take some urine. And so they had an appointment this weekend and they took him in the back to take uh, blood and urine, apparently not together, separate. (laughs) That makes me think of dodgeball. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, if you're watching the video, yes, I am reaching into my glass. <laughs> but um, so the vet called me the next day and to say that they found some blood in Mr. Chubbs's urine and that it was enough that we that she thinks we should retest him. And she said it's probably just what happens when they do the needle poke to get urine. And so she's not super concerned. But she'd like to retest. And she thinks that we would like to retest. All his levels, his blood, everything else, he's totally healthy. So she said he could have just got nicked by the... By the needle, right. And she thinks that's what it is, but would like to double check. And she figured we would probably want to double check as well. And there's an easy way that we can do that without using a needle. Because obviously we need a needle-free version of urine and sample this time so she said that on amazon you can just simply buy a kit it's called kit for cat Mm -hmm. and um so we talked about it and you found it and you ordered it up and i wasn't really sure what to expect i'm going to tell you what i expected it's hydrophobic sand hydrophobic sand which is the same same thing do you remember those um as kids they had those um those toys they came they looked uh, like little Aladdin bottles, and it was colored sand, and you played with it in the water. Yes. And then that was also hydrophobic Is that, is that what that is? Yeah. So, yes, yeah, it's, it's basically so it's, sand that doesn't absorb, 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 absorb moisture. So, but what I originally thought it was, I thought it was um, like little pellets that absorbed the, the pee-pee, and then you would collect the pee-pee in the little tube that they provide. The pellets. The pellets, and, and, then, you, the and then you give it to the vet. And they would extract that's it. That's not what happens at all. Well, that's not what hydrophobic means. Right. But I'm just saying I was kind of, uh, per her description of what's happening and looking just ever so briefly at the Amazon thing before you ordered it. Mm-hmm. Um, Hey, you, dog, stop licking that. <laughs> um, I wasn't sure what to expect. So we get it in the mail, and it is, in fact, a, like, one-pound little bag of sand. And so apparently what we have to do is, in a clean cat box, put this little bag of sand in there. And Mr. Chubbs is supposed to pee on it. And then it's supposed to just lay on top. And then we are supposed to use some sort of... It's suck- a little, like a little dropper. Sucker dropper to collect said pee and put it into a test tube that we a then yeah. take to the vet. <laughs> so, and supposedly it works great. Right. So I'm, after little chubs is done with weird. it, I'm going to see how hydrophobic that sand really is. <laughs> yeah. We're not supposed to use it again for testing, but we could probably use it for other stuff. Yeah. Like playtime. Hmm. Bath time. I don't know. No. Oh. Anyway, I thought that I had that written down because I thought it would be kind of fun to talk about because <laughs> people are, want to know. People need to know. About uh, pee resistant sand. Hmm. Yeah. Let your pee 
sit on my sand. So just so you know, if you need to give either yourself or your pets a test. Wait, wait, wait. If you can't pee yourself into a <laughs> test tube. And you know, you no, I'm just referring back to our aforementioned Brick McFadden radioactive brick? pee. Brick. <laughs> um, of which I'm really excited. We're going to meet the Brick and Mrs. Brick. <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Brick. Yeah, when we go, when we go, we're going to baseball see, game. We're going to go baseball. We're going to go to the June. Sacramento River Cats mm-hmm. game awesome. in June. Yay! Looking forward to that. All right, let's get to our favorite five. Absolutely. We need to order pizza. Yeah. Yeah. You you uh, introduce our. Okay, so five. Um, we also known as the Hobie Five. Right, the Hobie Twenty Seven. The Hobie Twenty Seven. <laughs> so our favorite five this week is our favorite five things about darkangelsandprettyfreaks dot com. Check it out. Download oh, yeah, a free you, app. You didn't do that at the beginning. Well, because I was freaking getting railed by the goddamn Pittsburgh Nerd podcast. <laughs> getting railed by Pittsburgh Nerd. God damn it. That's always distracting. I know. Okay. Buy me a beer next time, bro. <laughs> 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 okay. So our, our favorite five is our favorite five things about Netflix. And one of the reasons we chose this is because uh, we had we not had Netflix la- um, for a long time and just recently got it again two about weeks ago, actually. two weeks ago. <laughs> and then it, and we proceeded to Marathon Property Brothers. Marathon Property Brothers. All right. So, okay. Um, you want me to go first or second? Uh, I'll go first so you can go last. Okay. My number five reason, my, I don't know how to say this. My favorite five, number five? Mm-hmm. Number five. <laughs> Property Brothers. <laughs> Nice. Yeah. Perfect. There we go. We are now. I should that should have been on my list, yeah. but I didn't think that that through. I'm a little upset that dude bros don't call me anymore, but whatever. Whatever. Mm-hmm. But they're still in your dreams, baby. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. So my number five is no commercials. Oh, we don't really watch commercials anyway. True, but we don't have to fast forward through them. But isn't it funny how? Even after five seasons of it, whenever it would break, because mm-hmm. it has the commercial I used break. to get up to go to the bathroom, and then it would just keep going. I'd, I'd be like, still oh. reach for the remote to <laughs> yeah. fast forward through the commercial. I'm like, oh, there's no I'm like, oh, there's no commercial. Well, well can, you're going to have to pause it, because i got to pee. So. <laughs> uh, my number four, mm-hmm. the power of Netflix. I just like the power to look through all those movies. Like, documentary? No. no. Comedy? Maybe. Oh, I'm going to watch this for three seconds. Oh, no. No, I'm not. I don't like this. I don't like your stand-up, sir. You're not that funny. Wow. So I just like the power. You I wield the power. You feel powerful? Yeah. You feel powerful. Yeah. Um, my number four is uh, it's so instant because now we do – we obviously oh, you see must DVDs. Love my penis. <laughs> also that. That's, that's a not number four. It's number 4.5. Yeah. But <laughs> – so um, the instant, Could instant you say gratification. You, you hobied my penis. <laughs> <laughs> they would probably like to say that, but what does she have in her mouth? Oh, they broke apart the bone. Oh wow. Okay. So um, yeah. So my number four is the instantness mm-hmm. of it. So instant gratification mm-hmm. of Netflix. Very nice. Your number three. My number three. We're just blowing through these. It, well, I can slow down. We're getting a pizza. <laughs> my number three That's is being go. part of the in crowd. Because oh, everybody really? has net- Netflix, and everyone's talking like, did you see Daredevil? Oh, did you see this? Oh, Netflix has this show. And I'm like, you guys are dumb. Yeah, well, we felt girls, a little bit out of it. Girls are even dumber Stop when they talk it. about it. <laughs> and we were a little bit out of it there for a while. We didn't have Netflix. And we're like, oh, have you seen this? I'm like, no. <laughs> yeah. So I just feel like now people can be like, oh, did we're you cool see again? Daredevil? I'm like, no, but we have Netflix. We could watch it if we wanted to, but, but we're not we going don't. to. Because <laughs> apparently... There is a kitchen in Canada that needs to be remodeled. <laughs> and that is way more important. Yeah. <laughs> That's hilarious. Apparently a chalkboard has to go up in the kitchen. <laughs> Every kitchen. Every goddamn kitchen is getting a chalkboard and deep soaked tub. <laughs> soaker tub that's for sure um so my number three is very similar to your number four but i called it selection they have a very the netflix selection slash browsing like there are so many weird unusual documentaries that i would watch because nothing, netflix on nothing there nothing like but i would never four. ever look it up on my own that's but if you're looking like my through, number four it is. no my number four is more like mussolini it's more <laughs> okay. It's more dictator. Like I can, I can just no. I'm, I'm North Korea. Wow. I just what I no. What you're saying is you enjoy. You're like hippy dippy. Like oh, look at all of this, all these things I can experience. And I'm like right. no, I can dash the hopes and dreams of these. You things. just like flip through and go stupid. Yeah. I'm like oh <laughs> look at that stupid. Next. Whoever watched this? <laughs> Ooh, Property Brothers. <laughs> 
We're just gonna have to start again with yeah. that because no, nothing else is gonna be satisfying. What? <laughs> wow. <laughs> More property brothers. Okay. Um, your number three or my number three? Well, you just did number three. Mm-hmm. Are, you, are we already number two? You were doing two? your number three selection. It's a selection. I just like to go through. Like you can just type in Jamaica and Jamaica things come up, or you can talk type in documentaries and these weird documentaries come up. So you type there's in this documentary I want to watch about the sushi chef. I forget what that's called. It's on my list. I'll write it down. Go and watch it. Why? Because we can. That's why. My number two <laughs> reason is to get to use the Xbox <laughs> for something. <laughs> Since I'm not gaming a lot right now, right. it's kind of nice oh. to be able to be like, oh, cool. Because <laughs> that goddamn racing game I want got pushed back now till June. Don't you have a couple racing games you could be playing? Uh, Yeah, but I, f- I finished them. Oh. I raced them all. You raced it? I raced mm. it. Need some more. Mm. So there's a motocross game. There's some Battlefront you could be playing. I suck at that. <laughs> you only get better if you play, though. Yeah. I'm not good at first-person shooters. I'm more of an adventure game kind of person. <laughs> so I just like that I'm like, yeah, getting some use out of this yeah, thing. Yeah, it makes you feel like you're playing. No, it just makes me feel like it's not a waste of money. But also that. Although we've had it for a while. Well, that, and we need a DVD player, so there you go. Yeah. Yeah, that was good money well spent. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. What's your number? Um, My number two is a big one. And I think it's huge. I think it's a big deal. It's a gigantic vagina. It's not that. Because it's a. a, Why would you want a gigantic vagina? It's a. Wouldn't you want a smaller? No. Um, It's a. (laughs) I was going to make a joke about how you've seen mine on TV, but that's a joke altogether. I saw yours on TV. When I had that. um, Oh, I did. Well, we should talk about that. <laughs> we should make that a list for yeah. a, a story for another day. And I like when they were putting the camera in. I saw your little butt. Yep. <laughs> I mean, I've seen it before and after. <laughs> uh, True. Now is I'm it a giant orchid? You like giant orchids. Mm, also that. And giant papayas. Okay. Can I say my number two? <laughs> yeah. You were saying it was giant. <laughs> um, I really, really love the mul- multiple login uh, feature. So we have Netflix at home. All girls like the multiple login feature. <laughs> they sure do. They sure do. So I also can watch it on my phone. I can watch it on my iPad. And I often do at work. <laughs> so I like it quite So that's a the bit. power. See the power. Is that what it is? Yeah. <laughs> but I like the fact that, you know, I can log into it and watch it from work if I would. Because I don't watch TV at work because that's inappropriate. But if I was going to, I could. <laughs> I like it. So, uh, my number one. Oh yeah, we're at number one. Okay, watching it with you. I like ah, spending time with you. Yay! Watching Netflix and telling you what we'll watch. I'm totally <laughs> telling you what. <laughs> it usually does not work that way, but I like to pretend it does. Well, I like how you always have it ready. Like when dinner is ready and we're about to eat, you already have property brothers all queued up and ready to go. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so it's a little bit dateish, if you will. Yeah. Something we do together. Mm-hmm. I like it. Yeah. Well, um, I guess then arguing could be dateish too. We do that together. <laughs> We're on a date. Suck it. Yeah. <laughs> Pull your head out of your ass. Best date ever. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> um, mine isn't quite as loving. No, I feel bad. I'm shocked. Oh, I mean, oh, it's okay. Bunches of joy. Our last week's was loving Come and on, the same. Come on, precious moment. Our last week's was loving. I think a more constant comment than precious You're moments. Constipated? <laughs> constant comment. Oh, I like that tea. I know exactly. <laughs> All right, go on. What's number um, one? My number one was going to say marathoning TV shows. Oh. Because yes. not only do they have tons Very. of movies, but I love I to love marathon TV shows. Yeah. From your. Yeah. I didn't. Well, yeah. this got awkward quick. <laughs> <laughs> you made it awkward. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, by by saying I enjoy it with you. <sighs> wow. Mm. Uh. Uh, so welcome to the last episode of <laughs> uh, Vegas Meetup 2017. I will be single. <laughs> uh, you want to you want to hang out with us in Vegas? I was going to make a joke about dating apps, but I don't actually know what any of them are called, so I couldn't make the joke fast enough, and you started moving on. <laughs> <laughs> if you nice, if you want to meet up uh, and hang out with us, come to Vegas in February of 2017. Woo-hoo. And by meet up and hang out, I mean you could meet us for the early bird special breakfast. <laughs> And we're then we're going to go to bed, bed by 7 p.m. <laughs> um, and then you guys can do whatever you want after that. Or there's Jamaica Cast 2016 and Jamaica Cast 2017 in lovely Jamaica. Woohoo! Um, it's a couples only resort, so well, we, keep we'll, that in mind. If you're even interested, we'll help we'll, you out. We'll cross that bridge when it <laughs> <Okay>. comes. <laughs> 
uh, darkangelsandprettyfreaks.com. You're, you're, you've been slacking on the sound. I know. I, I think I might take it over. You might need to. Yeah. Um, and we also want to uh, talk about some other stuff real quick. Okay. Like you can find us everywhere. Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Pinterest, Periscope, uh, DAPF pod. Find us there. Uh, call and leave us a voicemail so we can do our second voicemail show. We got 774-DAPF713 or 774-327-3713. We're part of awesome networks, dangerentertainment.net, wickedradio.com, poddam.com, podgodsnetwork.com, tangibilenetwork.com. And people say, why be part of networks? Why? Why? Really? Why? Because <laughs> it helps. Be part- yeah, because you want to <laughs> network with people and help other podcasts. Like and helps they help you, your podcast. Helps them. Also, check out hashtag Potter and Family on the Twitter uh, because that's a lot of fun. And you can find a lot of new podcasts. I agree. I've been really checking cool. out some new podcasts. It's pretty cool. I have also. I'm actually caught up on my podcast. I am not. Hmm. Um, I'm marathoning the shit out of those podcasts. Although, apparently, I'm not going to have to listen to Pittsburgh Nerd for a while. What? Suck it. Um, <laughs> we're all over the place. We very much appreciate the support and the love. And um, thank you for listening. Yeah. Oh, I lost my mouse. Oh, we were going to say goodnight, but now he has to oh, find it. Find, my find mouse. it. It's like a little still listening. Sized penis. Agent Palmer, are you still listening? What? Exactly. Okay, oh, goodnight. <laughs> I was waiting for the mouse. Okay, bye bye. Bye bye.